Good morning, Tokyo. We have a lot of positive news to get this morning. The ozone hole over Antarctica could disappear. The ozone layer can be restored. Along with global warming, the ozone hole has been a problem for some time. It has been announced that thanks to international efforts, the ozone layer is expected to be restored. CIRA to collaborate with Yamanashi Prefecture. Kazumiraki, a Japanese chemist and inventor, and also a representative director of CIRA, has got a hunch that his institute is gonna get bigger and better. He has signed a cooperation agreement with his home prefecture, Yamanashi. Research on controlling aging has started. What if we could stay young forever? Such a dream could come true! At CIRA, they've started research on longevity. Good morning, Earthlings. This is Tokyo Positive News on CITV. I'm Kazumi Muraki from Sierra Ariake Central Studio located in Odaiba, Tokyo. So let's take a closer look on today's headlines. The ozone hole over Antarctica could disappear. We are on the path to restoring the ozone layer. Along with global warming, the ozone hole over Antarctica has long been an issue. The ozone layer, a good friend to life on Earth, surrounds the planet and absorbs harmful wood of virus from the sun. However, since the 1980s, the ozone layer has been thinning over Antarctica, which is called the ozone hole. This was due to chlorofluorocarbons such as freon used in refrigerators and spray cans. Then, last month, there was a wonderful announcement, and here it is. Ozone layer recovery is on track which will help avoid global warming by 0.5 degrees. A United Nations-backed scientific assessment panel announced that the recovery of the ozone layer is progressing well. This means the human actions to protect the ozone layer are having the desired effect. In 1989, the Montreal Protocol, which banned countries from producing and consuming chlorofluorocarbons and other substances, such as freedom, came into effect. As a result, about 99% of the regulated ozone depleting substances have been eliminated. Due to the actions by various countries, the ozone layer is expected to recover to the 9080 level by about 2066. In addition, chlorofluorocarbons and other gases fall into the same category of greenhouse gases as carbon dioxide. Therefore, continued attempts to protect the ozone layer could reduce global warming by 0.5 degrees. The success of international efforts to protect and restoring the ozone layer has set a good example for a fight against the global warming. Let's keep up the good work. Continuing with the news, CIRA is set to cooperate with Yamanashi Prefecture. <laughs> CIRA has signed a partnership agreement with Yamanashi Prefecture, the home prefecture of Kazumiraki, the representative director of CIRA. The Yamanashi Prefecture government plans to provide us with a place to conduct demonstrations and experiments. CIRA's momentum is unstoppable! By the way, wanna stay young forever? To make the dream a reality, CIRA has started research on controlling aging. Did you know? that over the last 100 years, the average life expectancy of Japanese people has increased by nearly 40 years. Recent research on aging conducted around the world has revealed that there are causes for aging. In other words, if the causes can be identified, it will be possible to control aging by eliminating them. To achieve the goal, they have begun research to identify the intracellular factors that influence aging. では、シーラの研究設備をご紹介したいと思います。今こちらに見えているのは、え、
えこうやってくるくる回すことで実は細胞に均等に栄養源の液体が行き渡るようにしているんですねさらにはずっとこう30度で一定の温度を保ってあげることでまるでビニールハウスのようにこうあったかい環境でちゃんと細胞を育てることができますえさらにはこちら三眼顕微鏡というのもありますでこれはただ両目で見るだけではなくてこの3本目の筒から USB 出力で細胞の映像や画像を出力できるような仕組みになってるんですねそんな顕微鏡もシーラにはあります I'm gonna live until I'm 250 years old same as Sira's president Kazumi in order to bring happy news to all of you through this program and that is our show for this hour be sure to stay tuned on CITV channel Thank you very much for watching us and have a great day.